Well, good day, SP Productions. Hello to you. Hey, Mr. Kyle's Chessie Cumberland Division. Say hello, hello. We got Hastings BNSF N Scale Modeler. Nice to see people pop it in. Eminem Shortline, World Road. Hey there, Sparky. And we got Mr. Ralph Greenwood. Alex Brockway popping in saying hi. Brad Anderson. Totally cool. All the way over from Australia. It's going to be pretty late over in Australia. Wow. Like, aren't you guys like 13 hours ahead of us so you can give us the lottery numbers? I'm sure you get asked that all the time, too. <laughs> oh. Ken, Umo, Ken Amos Jr., B&O, 51. And Mr. John Dilly, popping in just before he heads home from work. You definitely got one of those schedules that everybody wants. Same time heading home all the time. Which is really cool. The traffic's not too bad for the trip home anyway. So, Dale PRR guy, base. Hiya, Sparky. Hiya. How are you, Ken? Or, hi, how are you, Dale? And there's Ken saying hi after that. And Bernie's model railroad saying hey. Rick Bailey's popping in. David Atkins, nice to see you, bud. It's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon for you, so... John Daly saying hi to a lot of people. And that's how to do it, boys and girls. Say hi to everybody all at once. Get her done. <laughs> uh, Southern 207 Hobbies, how are you? John 2618... And BMSF 6951. You guys are going to be really mad at Cousin Vinny when I get done telling you guys something. You guys are going to be really, really mad at him. So it's 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 devastating news, actually. So but I'm going to hold on to it for a bit. Tammy Brockway, nice to see you, my dear. It was nice meeting you, too, actually, when I was down visiting with your boy there, touring around your town. Nicholas, how are you? So we got Nicholas in here, which won the N scale locomotive from the contest back about three weeks ago. And Brad from Australia is in here. He won the HO scale locomotive. I mailed that stuff out yesterday. I did send you guys the tracking numbers. Hopefully they work uh, for you to track them. Brad, I'm amazed. I can go to the post office and try to send something to you. And. I'm not really going to say the price, but it was over 100 bucks. Oh, my God. And it would get to you in, like, 27 days, maybe 40. Like, what? You're, you're kidding, right? Like, that long? Like, what's it going? What, do they put it in a bottle and ship it to you? Like, I can do that. I'm sure I can find a big enough bottle to throw it in, toss it over the water, and just watch it go. Holy jumping. Didn't have to spend that much. But... Should get it within seven days. We went a little more and uh, put a tracking number on it for you, too. So hopefully you're keeping track of that. And uh, you can send me messages every once in a while. Let me know where it is. be kind of cool because if it's still in Toronto, like, I don't know. I just, that's crazy. I got to Australia. I went over there. And, yeah, the whole trip was 24 hours long for me because I had to fly from Toronto to Vancouver. And then I had to do, I think, a both five six hour layover there and then from vancouver i went to sydney and i had a two hour layover there and then from there i went to melbourne total trip 24 hours wow telling you my trip home didn't feel like it took that long because i slept through most of it i was bushed but anybody gets a chance to go over to australia do it and do the great ocean road wow what a trip that was but that was sidetracked wow go beer go home how are you doing, buddy? John Tanzilla, School Kill River Valley. And Dwight Curley, SMT Mainline, popping in. Yep, I am. It's in Canada. <laughs> That's good. Keep me informed. Uh, Union Central System, saying hi to John. EJ and E. Jeff, how are you, bud? Hopefully that shout out helped you out a little bit. So, yeah, if I did a shout out for you guys uh, that one time, like, let me know. Did it really help out your channel? I don't really go back and take a boo at what people's subscribers were at the time so the Atlantic Coastline Rail Fan all I have is O scale that's okay it's still model trains so you're in the right place any scale is a good scale I know 
You guys are used to me saying that, right? <laughs> I'm not really... And scale, you can't even see it. Why would you even buy something like that? Well, come on. Scale is scale is still model trains, and they're still fun, right? So that's all that matters. So, and I'll be playing with some end scale stuff very shortly. Oh boy! And I haven't ran trains in like I don't know. It's been what three three and a half months since I tore down my layout and gave the wife the basement for her woodworking hobby. I thought model trains were expensive. Get into that. There's a lot of expensive tools you got to get into woodworking. Holy jumping! And Rail Rider Baby. Yeah, I got that right. I made it the same thing as last week, though. I can't read your comments because I'm driving this truck. Well, drive carefully. That's the big thing. But I can keep trying to talk. Mostly do. I, I mostly talk. A lot of it. Tanner Man 68, how are you? I got snowed on today in Wyoming. Well, you should have turned around and went back the other way then. It's too early for snow. Norman Rowe, hi, Sparky, and hi, everyone. And Tatagonda Valley Railroad and Coal Company saying hi, Ralph. It's just neat. That's it. That's all I got. Just neat. So how are you, bud? Dwayne Ernest Fork and Spoon Railroad. I got to get me one of those. Fork and Spoon crossed over back there. Just just for laughs. Why not? So. <laughs> uh, Vinny's still talking in the chat. I'm surprised he didn't go hide under a rock. Because I'm telling you, the news I got to tell you guys, you're just going to be so angry with him. Can't believe it. Brad Anderson, Monterey, Sparky, my package is in Stony Creek, Ontario. Wow, really? It went north first? That's that's really weird. But, I don't know, Canadian mail system is kind of screwed up. RJR, bet you can't wait till the shed is done. Well, that's going to be on hold for a couple more weeks anyway. I'll just get into the bad news right away. Next two weeks, there's not going to be a Wednesday night live chat. I'm going away. I'm going to go down, do my October trip to go visit my cousin Vinny. Well, he's my brother, Vinny. So BNSF 6951, he does his live streams on Friday night. So I'm pretty sure his next live stream will probably have quite a few people on it. Um, I might be one of them. You never know. All depends if he lets me. But you guys are going to have to blame him. Because last time I went down and I, I did my Wednesday night live chat on his computer. So I signed out Vinny's account and I signed in my account. And we had a good good live stream. We had a contest. John Dilly drew the name. John Dilly won the contest. In case nobody remembers that. But hey, why not? It was still fun. And uh, Vinny did his live stream right after mine and for some reason he signed in under mine because he forgot what his login information was so this time when I go down I'm not gonna do a live stream I'm just gonna do on Vinny's and I'll pop in every once in a while and I say hi so no Wednesday night live chat for two weeks after this and it's a bit of a break for me too so bit of a break for you guys so if there's anybody in the chat that wants to do a Wednesday Night Live chat, because I'd really like if you actually called it the Wednesday Night Live chat if you did it, put it up there in the comments now. And basically, why not? Got two free Wednesdays. Because we've got every day booked. We've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday mornings. Sundays are normally open. There's no live chat on Sunday. I don't get that. But, hey, whatever. People can just throw it up there if they feel like doing one. But, two Wednesdays, no live chat. So, take a laptop. Nope, not taking nothing. Taking my camera, because I'm pretty sure I've got some stuff that I'll be videoing. And come back. I've got so much video to show you guys from the UK, from both my trips to Steamtown this year, because everybody threw out video of Steamtown, so I think I might have showed one. But... I, I could probably show you guys videos for a year and not actually leave this room. But Hey, Nora, how are you? North Ohio Railroad Action. Hot Rod Rodney's popping in. And we are going to be checking out his live stream tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Eastern. So that's going to be cool. Nathan DeLay popping in. How are you, buddy? Hope you're having an awesome day. 
And there is the Carver. And guys, his name suits him. He carves stuff out of wood. So I'm not sure if Nancy Jones is in here, but check out her channel. She's got a video of what the Carver can actually carve. Wow, what an amazing piece of art that guy can do. Gotta be in his hands, right? Awesome stuff. So, yep, everybody get mad at Vinny because no Wednesday Night Live chat for me. I haven't seen it in the chat yet if anybody's actually going to do a Wednesday Night Live chat. 7 p.m. Eastern for two weeks. Anybody, any takers, throw it up there. Like I said, gives some people a chance to know who's going to be taking over. But like I said, if you if you do do it, Wednesday Night Live chat. It'd be nice if that was the uh, title. And 7 p.m. Eastern. I'm sure a lot of people are type it in Wednesday Night Live Chat. This stuff comes up. So, And Dwight Curly saying hi to everybody. Steve 87 PSAP. Just do what TV does and <laughs> run replays. No one will know. <laughs> hey, that's always an idea. To run some of my first live streams. Just replays. Put them in. Huh. It's almost something to think about. But... No, I'd rather give a couple people, if there is people out there that want to do them, give you a chance, throw them out there. The audience is kind of already set up for you, so. And I'll tell you right off the bat, if you're going to do a live stream, have something to drink, and have a pen and paper with you, and write down some ideas about what you're going to do for a live stream. Because a lot of people will get on here and just go, um, um, well, hello, John Tanzillo. Hi, Norman Rowe. Nice to see you in here, Evans Trains. Everybody saying hi to everybody. Um, this is my first live stream. I um, Hello, Mike Thomas. Nice of you to join me. It's still my, my first live stream. I'm not, I'm not really sure if we're even broadcasting. I hope everybody can hear me okay. Uh, it's not too loud, and I, if it's, it's if you can't really hear me, then just turn it up yourself, please. Um, I, I might be able to get a rail car or something for you guys to look at in in a little while. I just want to make sure this is really running. So, but no, I'm just kidding, guys. It's really not that bad. There is a couple out there I've seen that are that bad, but uh, turn your mic down. Your chip clipping, okay? I'll see what I can do with that. Bang. All right, I turn that down. We'll see what happens. I just answer question and get on my lives. Yeah, that's always one way to do it too. So, but yep, yeah, guys, I'll be taking the trip down to Phoenix, visiting with BNSF 6951 for just and I think we're down there for six days. And the wife and her friend are going. And two kids are going, but they're going to Great Wolf Lodge. So, I spend one night with them, and then they cut me loose. It's going to be awesome. And then I think we meet up again. On the 31st, which is Halloween, and I don't know, I think Container Man 68 is going to be with us that day. He likes to do live streams all the time, too. So maybe on Halloween, he might do a live stream. You never know. And no, I'm not dressing up, so don't even go there. I might take a wig, though. You never know. See me at the airport, and the guy pulls out the wig. Hey, what's this for? Ah, nothing. I like to dress up. So, is the volume a little bit better there, Vinny? Crooked River and Eastern Railroad. Saying hi to everybody. And Mr. Digger popped in. That's cool. So, let's see. Next two weeks, no Wednesday at live chat. Yeah, I said that. Oh, well, I don't Got one of these funky pens that does four colors. I think it's kind of cool. Actually, I didn't get it. The boss did. I kind of borrowed it. He doesn't know yet. So, the feature channel. A lot of you guys know Johnny. A lot of you guys know Big Bill. Uh, the show Who's Big Bill Talking To is on this channel. So I'm just going to pop it up there. And hopefully you guys can all head over and subscribe. Mono Railroading Live. Now these guys have been around for a long, long time. They're a big inspiration in the community. They used to be called Model Builders. I think that was it. Model Builders. Correct me if I'm wrong in the chat. It's been a while since I've actually had that name written down somewhere. But 
they've got lots of videos up lots in their playlist but the ones we're really going to be looking at is who's Big Bill talking to now Big Bill likes to do his shows Wednesday night and there he is down there YouTube model builders that's what they were called there's Big Bill right there special shows but it's who's Big Bill talking to he likes to do those Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern and I believe I am actually going to be on there tonight if everything goes well my camera works my audio works everything else should be really cool they have a community tab how cool is that Joe's train room wow that's a big train room so you guys gotta check these guys out and subscribe to them tonight I am not signed in on my regular computer so no I am not actually I am subscribed to them trust me model railroading live so check them out 3260 followers and I'd say they're doing live streams about three times a week just check out videos at Joe Desmond he's an end scaler a lot of you guys like him I like him because he's Conrail and you got Bob the Bob this bridge that he's building is huge like you can see how big it is just by looking at him right there Wow not sure why anybody needs a bridge that big but Wow right so guys check out this channel go subscribe to it right now because tonight at 9 o'clock I should be on there like I said as long as the video goes and we uh, on Monday we had a little test stream that we did that's what my little conference call thing was when I had to leave Tom's trains and things early and of course my camera wouldn't connect to their system and my mic all of a sudden would connect so then I got out my old camera and I plugged it in and it would connect to their system but the mic wouldn't connect to the system so then we had to get Andy Crawford in there and I'm a big fan of Andy he's cool I, I just he's got a lot of stuff he likes to talk about and boy the guy likes to talk <laughs> uh, awesome but he got into the chat and we just got talking and I said yeah I run XSplit Broadcaster and that's how my camera goes through and he's like shut that off really I didn't think my camera actually worked without the XSplit Broadcaster running in the background because it's the only way I can turn on my camera so I shut it off and everything worked great new camera worked great mic worked great I, ha I had to punch in some headphones because you got to hear what Big Bill's saying so then there was a bit of feedback on mine and so I gotta wear headphones tonight you guys won't see that very often either so some good shows coming up see on I think so too oh John 2618 now I know who you are because I've been talking to you on Monday got it and why are you negative four hello to everybody cool I can imagine Nick hello John 2618 so just to confirm John 2618 you were yeah you were the guy I was talking to on Monday also right just like you said you, you've been in on my live chats before and I like I said I was honest to you I just the chat goes by so far so many names a lot of names that are the same like John Dillion John 2618 right there two Johns both same guy to me no I'm just kidding but <laughs> so <coughs> so after tonight's show for me I get a big half hour break then I got to go over and talk to Big Bill again hopefully everything like I said works again and tonight 9 p.m. Eastern I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be on who's Big Bill talking to so and then after that check out some of his older stuff because he's had a lot of good people on there Wilmer was on there from Indian Head Valley Railroad Creative Rails Benny has been on there that was a really good show I like watching that one too so but so he's got some really entertaining guests and Container Man 68 it's snowing again well just close your eyes just keep driving close your eyes stop snowing okay I'm kidding don't do that Wow never listen to me any other time and high mount blessing railroad and cool upload on the dry bolt trailer Ooh. I actually got to go watch a video too 
and SMT mainline is going to be right back. So, and Nora's throwing up the link right there, guys, so you guys can check that out. And Sparky's PayPal link. Oh, that's always cool, too. And somebody from London's trying to call me right now. Well, too bad. And RJR, at least there's only one of me. <laughs> yeah, RJR. And Zen Master 6. Why do black... Okay, got to get that off there. we just going to block that person. Bang, just like that. I'll do that one, guys. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, warm here in Florida. I bet you it's warm in Phoenix, too. I'll be there very soon. So, I believe it's next Tuesday I head down that way. So, cool. So, like I said, taking a trip to Vinny, blame him. Uh, Hot Rod Rodney did send me a text message there a second ago. He said he will do the Wednesday night live chats, but he's doing Thursdays. So, I wouldn't mind if somebody else did them and had a chance. That'd be kind of cool. So, Nicholas, you haven't been up doing live streams for a while. You were pretty good, but I'm not sure if you can because of that thousand follower rule YouTube's got. I drive in the snow alone. Love going sideways in a two-wheel truck. Yeah, no kidding. Front-wheel drive is even more fun. Once you're stuck, you're just really stuck. I was just warning him, Sparky. Yeah, well, after that comment, Gandhi. Sorry. But thanks, Ralph. That's the right way to do it. Warn somebody first. So, tonight, 9 p.m., like I said, who's Big Bill talking to? That's going to be me. Other announcement that I got up there is my Strasbourg video is finally up. Um, one of the reasons why it took me so long is the new video editor I got, I could make a video, but I couldn't put it on YouTube for some reason. Just There was a lot of hassle and finagling around and, and everything else with it. So Finally, I just used my phone and went, you know what, guys, you come to Strasbourg, sign up here. If you're staying at the Red Caboose, sign up here. Let everybody know. So that video is up. And listen to the whole video because there has been a couple people that have left comments on the on it and it says right in the video only say if you're coming to Strasbourg and only say where you're staying that's it so a couple people just left comments and of course I went over and went Doop, delete sorry but I'm just trying to keep it basically nice and simple so everybody every once in a while can click on that video and see who else is coming so quite a few people signed up already and if you haven't, and you are coming, that's something to go do. Thanks, Nate. Looking forward to the next video of the Railroad Kits build. It's a great series. Yes, he does a great Monday show. And put two videos up Monday morning. Sweet. That's from Nicholas Ting. So, future channel we put up. Might, might mention that again later on. Strasburg video is up. Scale Trains Kit. Now, I'm going to try to do this right here on the camera. I don't think they take very long to put together at all. They look pretty simple. There's not a lot of parts to them. I'm going to move you guys down just a wee little bit so you're actually looking at it. Not as to me, I think. So, got a pretty simple kit. Easy to assemble scroll trains classic kit classic. Wow, I've got to learn to read backwards. Cool. Like I said, they're not super detailed, not super realistic, but if you're looking to haul a lot of boxcars and stuff, like 50, 40, 50 train cars, why not? Who's going to notice? And you can always add more details to them later. So you get the boxcar, you get the underbody, bit of detail on that, not a lot, but when that's running the rails, what are you really going to see? Unless it falls on the floor. And then you're really going to see that. You got scale trains couplers. And there has been a lot of talk about these couplers lately. About how bad they really are. Uh, you mix these with KDs. And they're not the greatest. Uh, they, they do break. They don't couple the best to a KD. But if you're running scale trains to scale trains cars. Especially if you get into the uh, rivet counter series. They're actually all metal. Those things lock together so well, they're almost hard to get apart. 
But, like I said, you put that with a KD coupler, then you, a lot of people are running into problems with that. Other thing you get is some wheels and two little screws. So, let's see how long this is actually going to take. Spark you to actually put it together. Well, plus you get the instructions, of course. And the other thing that's really neat about this is once you put it together, it fits back in the box. All together. So that's kind of cool. Kit was $15.99. So it's definitely the cheap way to do these cars, or to do any car on your layout, for HO scale anyway. I would think the way scale trains works is they probably start coming out with end scale kits. How? Why not? Instructions are pretty simple. Put the wheels on, put the coupler on, snap the box together. Now that's pretty simple. And of course, like any other train car that you buy, on the other side, tells you what the car is all about. It's a box car, you put stuff in it. Probably boxes. So, as long as you take your time, the car kits look just as good as the high end cars. And like I said, you, guys, you can always buy more detailed parts for them too. So, we're going to take this, flip it upside down. We're going to check out these couplers. Now, I've also heard that putting KD couplers on these things can be a problem. So, I'm going to check that out also. Because I do happen to have a couple KD couplers right here. And that looks pretty simple. It just goes in there and bang, it's done. And, of course, now i got the sniffles. That was really simple, actually. Get off my finger. Put a little screw in there. Screwdrivers. Always a good thing to have around. Not a slot. Because these are Phillips. Get on there. So a little Phillips is always a good thing to have. I don't see a big problem putting the KD on there, that's for sure. That went on like lickety split. So just for that, I'm going to put the other KD on there. This is a different style of KD coupler. Joys the live streams. Look what happens. I got all kinds of different couplers. Of course, not the one that I want now. Anybody got another KD coupler they can send me? Whisker style. Yeah. Yeah. There's one. Sorry, right. got to see the back of my shirt there for a minute. So we got to subtract that time off of there because. Normally, you would have all the parts that you want. Normally. I'm not normal. I just thought I'd say that before somebody else in the chat did. Line it all up. I don't think I lined that hole up properly, but... KD couplers installed on a scale trains car. Yay! I've tried changing end scale couplers three times in my life, Ralph. Very painful. Yeah, I would agree with you on that. There's a Dave guy down in Phoenix that's really good at putting couplers on, I guess. Make sure the truck goes on the right way. Nice metal wheels on them. Oh, found the other screw. Bit of detail. Sort of. Can't really see it. Maybe you can if I do this. Nope. Shut that off. And these screws are a little bit longer, which is always good for me. Maybe.
I need my other screwdriver. Come on. And I make them myself the easy way. What's the easy way? Oop, that didn't go on there. That probably did though. Nope. I need better light. Believe it or not. Get off there. They sit kind of down in a pocket. When you're half blind like me, still makes it hard. And now, now it wants to be magnetic. Really? Bitch, it's not if I do it this way. Oh, well, maybe. Oh, come on. Only on live shoes. I'm going to give up here in a second. This is painful. Really? Okay, I'm going to give up for a second. Brain, that's the first spring, the second takes longer. Okay. This one really, this is driving me crazy. Maybe I go that way. Stop it. Oh, this was a good idea for a live stream. This should take about an hour and a half. That's a good trick. Yeah, there's a lot of good tricks. Good trick would be putting this stupid thing in there. Don't know how you hold your tongue. Betcha. Or not. Come on. These things are not drilled at all. At all, at all. Probably help to have the right size screwdriver, too. Because this one's just spinning. They're on. They're just not tight. But you guys got the idea. I need a bigger size screwdriver. So, yeah, there's one up. Kind of, sort of done. You should see the trick Eric does. I probably should. It probably would have helped me. And I got to get rid of this runny nose. Half my problem. And probably self tapping screws. They didn't look like anything, they just look really cheap. I shouldn't have said that, but. Pretty sure that screwdriver's too big. I wonder what I did with the right size. Oh well. Did you guys get the idea? And their couplers that they give you. There's a kind of closer look to it that you can't really see anyway, but big hole at the end. And then they give you this. Well, that one's gone. Little piece of copper or brass that you got to put in there, and that would make it kind of springy. I have bent more of those, so it's just better to put the KD Whisklers in there right off the bat. Now, another thing I found with these scale trains cars, though, when you got the right size screwdriver, is you can go out and get the end of train device. 
very simple it's the same thing you take the screw off the truck put this truck on screw it back in and then put that coupler on instead of a KD coupler it's not going to be used anyway it's more like a dummy coupler so I've done that to a couple scale trains cars that I've got just because hey when you get them they're apart anyway makes it easy to put that together so again be the better size screwdriver but you guys got the idea two videos I didn't swear okay and Chris Mitchell thanks for that Vinny Hastings BNSF N scale modeler moderators oh, my moderators are on break and there's 2448 Toyman saying hello to everybody popping in hey TSG Multimedia has popped in saying hi that's cool just in time to watch me fumble around with that one of the big things when you guys are doing kits and I'm pretty sure everybody does when you're workbench or whatever you got all the screwdrivers you need so not a problem having the right size and I just noticed there's actually a nick out of this one right here so I need a new screwdriver set is what I need I gotta keep that in mind too maybe I can find a cheap one when I'm down visiting with Vinny Alex Brockway Sparky I would love to be the one of the volunteers for the live streaming with my dad well but anybody can it's just like I said it's Wednesday night 7 p.m. Eastern call the Wednesday night live chat um, if you're gonna do it throw up a video and just say that you're gonna do it and then people know enough to look for you anyway so or you can say it right here in the chat you're gonna do it I have not been watching the chat for that so you guys can uh, talk to talk amongst yourselves and find out who's gonna be doing the live stream I just know that I'm not doing one for two weeks it will be kind of nice to have a bit of a break and more of a vacation vacation but sounds like a lot of people are gonna be there so and Chris Mitchell right on that's a new screwdriver right there I like it sweet it's like half a screwdriver set <laughs> then I can tighten these these back up those are really loose but they're on there hey make propellers out of them too like I said though you guys get the idea and pretty much put those train cars together you're looking at like five six minutes so if I can do it anybody can do it and I'm half blind without these glasses I would even been able to see that hole so and Leslie sounds like a fan going beside the mic I can fix that too there now it's like really really quiet in here and I can't hear anything except myself talking to myself and there's Brian at Iron Horse Route popping in saying hi Dave Larson hello Sparky Brent or Ben Matchett and Amtrak and Southern Pacific Rail fans it's been a while since I've seen you buddy we'll just change the old color how's that just because it's been so long it's been a while since I've worn the green one for you so there we go what did I do with my book so scale trains kit like I said five seven minutes tops not hard and they are cheap like I said $15.99 here in Canada so they're pretty much getting rid of them you guys are probably in the States looking at 10 bucks detail kits you can get from like details West or something like that some grab irons or, or things like that get them dressed up a little bit throw an old chain well it's got a brake wheel so that's step in the right direction but you can always change the ladders and stuff on it make them pop right out put some weathering on that to me I just I think it'd be a just a fine car so and they do have some good weight to it you guys saw the weight that was on there it's pretty much the whole size of it a little steel weight just like the old life lake and Tyco stuff there's Nancy Jones smeared a Durango and Silverton so like I said if you want to see the carvings that the carver does pop onto her channels check out the video she's got that's awesome and let the moderators deal with that stuff be nice guys make sure you're warning them first the orange looks better on you really brings out your eyes yeah okay <laughs> but the green just flows so naturally so uh, 
So again, guys, I'm going to throw up that featured channel that I've got just because I'm going to be there later tonight. And you guys got to check this channel out, subscribe to it. And then tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern, it's going to be Who's Big Bill Talking To? And like you guys can see there, it was Wilmer. But tonight is going to be me. They've actually got some featured channels on there. That's kind of cool. Fish Plate Films, another great channel. DJ Model Works, he's starting to come back making videos again, guys. That's awesome. So you guys got to check him out and let him know you appreciate the fact that he's coming back. Mike Pfeiffer, NS Modeler 24, John Prescott, Landsberg and Great Western. There are some really good channels on there. So, okay, okay, stick with the flow. Ha ha. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thanks, RJ. And, guys, you guys want to see an awesome awesome Halloween party check out RJR's channel I'm pretty sure he's got some video up there too and JP videos does so the sound is still bad it's a little better it's hard to listen to I can turn that down a bit more yet so and Nancy you the man oh geez <laughs> Uh, so, like I said, guys, check out my railroading live. This should be a good show tonight, I hope. Like I said, as long as all this stuff works. And I have to wear headphones again tonight anyway, so. And if it's not one thing, it's always another. Now it's the microphone acting up on this one. Hopefully it's a little bit better, though. And, yep. Two or three people trying to tell me my audio is really bad today. So, be interesting to go back on the live chat and, and live replay and see this one. I can hear you clearly, Sparky. Well, thank you, Carl. So, that's pretty much what I got for you is tonight. Ah, gee, I only took 42 minutes of the time. I was going to get to that other model kit, too. But, without the right screwdriver, and this one's got a little more detail on it. But without the right screwdriver, I don't think I even want to try it. Don't want to wreck this one. But again, it's the same. Basically, the scheme is scale trains. Add some detail parts to this one, and you'd be doing pretty good. It does come with some detail parts. We can at least break into it and check it out. And the, it did come with parts. Um, I'm not sure if the camera actually caught that or not, but when I popped that open, they went that way. So I'll have to see what that was. <laughs> Couple brake wheels, some air cylinders. Yeah, a couple little things to stick on the bottom anyway, so. Hmm. Oh, don't lose the screws. Hey, these ones now these screws are self-tapping. You can see that. It's got a little ridge on the end of it. So let's not lose that. Hook and horn couplers. So definitely changing these ones out. Container Man 68, buy a better mic. Uh, you could try that. Some people actually use those mics. I should get one. There we go. How that? And that might have something to do with all the settings and stuff that I was horsing around with when I was trying to meet up with the uh, guys, get the live stream working for their end. So I'll horse around with it a little bit this week. And see if I can get that fixed. But well, maybe in a couple weeks when I come back, I can buy a better mic. But thank you, Container Man 68. I will definitely look into one for sure. I think those are kind of like expensive though. The ones that Benny's got from Creative Rails looks good. But not sure about that. Jolie Karma. That is why you open with scissors. Yeah, well, I guess I could have done that. The scissors are like right here did I actually well, I want to know if that actually showed up on camera taken off that way so but there's base plate holes for the spots to show up and this is tickling my nose oh I'm gonna sneeze so this one would be a nice one to build anyway does that just sit on there that's got a screw on somehow Maybe that's the parts that went flying. What's this part? 
without even looking at instructions. Maybe I should look at instructions first before I start pushing on things. Hey, that snapped down on that. That's that's easy. Said I wasn't going to build this car right now. Not going to build this car right now. But we got the weight on. And again, that's a good size weight. So that's going to be a nice hefty car on the layout. Container Man 68, thank you very much. But that was really warm without that fan going. Whew. So note to oneself, find the part that flew to the wall. Whew. And drink something. It did. I saw it. Well, RJ, good. Because I only saw it once it hit the wall. I just know it went that way. So, uh, Hi, y'all. Better late than never. And Lawrence, pretty much. Because you're right on the time that I am about to say, see you later and have a good night. So Thursday nights, like I said, we got Hot Rod Rodney 25. That's tomorrow night. And last couple of his live streams have been working. So we should be in for a good treat on that one. Likes to show off some of his rail cars and locomotives and stuff like that every once in a while. So maybe he'll grace us with the presence of some of that stuff. He's got a pretty cool layout. I wouldn't mind a video some point from Hot Rod Rodney of his layout tour type thing. Because it looks huge. And Friday nights, of course, we got BNSF 6951. That's at 8 p.m. Eastern. And then Saturday mornings, we got Track Smack at 10 o'clock in the morning Eastern Time. And that's with Steve Brown. Those are the ones I'm going to throw up there for now because everybody's telling us what we're watching through for live streams through the week. So I'm sure we'll hear more about them. So Sparky's Comedy Show. Yeah, every once in a while it goes kind of like that. Funny for you guys. It's going to be horrible for me when I'm on my hands and knees trying to find that part because... The part where it went is, of course, where all the cords go down for the camera, phone, speakers, video camera, like my, my video camera that does outside of my house, light switch for a fan, the lights here, the big umbrella lights, all the wires are right there. Of course, that's where it went. So, so guys, that's what we got coming up for live chats good time to promote your channel let us know how many people you got watching your channel any contests that you know of coming up any videos that you think people should be watching because there has been some good ones this week Roy Smith from Panama put out his dispatch video I got a good chuckle out of that one that was funny uh, you got to watch quite a bit of that one but you're gonna get a good chuckle out of it anyway so I did so and saying, oh, Union Pacific Rail fan for life. How are you, Daniel? Pop it in. Maybe I got to do a two-hour show from now on. Start catching everybody. <laughs> uh, won't be for a couple weeks on that one, that's for sure. So, uh, Sweep it with a magnet. It was a plastic part. I know it was. Because the bag was full of plastic bits. So the magnet might not work. So... Engineer Hall, Brown had a nice show last week. Wasn't he off last week? Or was that two weeks ago? Path Valley Railroad, harder if you don't really know what you're looking for. I just know it's black and it's plastic and it went that way. Hot Rod Rodney has 395. And Just Nate, 209. 41 subs away from a contest coming up on his channel. That's cool. TSG Multimedia, 29088. That is awesome, buddy. Almost at 30. John 2618 is 1,063. And I'm missing a couple. Dale PRR Guy Base, 49. Digger Evans, I have 373. Ken Amos Jr. B&O, 51, has 48. Container Man, 68. Videos. So watch his videos. I think that's what he's trying to tell you. Dave Piper, nice to see you. 175. Union Central System, 402. Having a giveaway... At 425, RJR, use plastic magnets. <laughs> oh, buddy, you're funny. <coughs> There's always a comedian in the group. Ah, uh, so cool. And Container Man 68, 1,220. And Leslie saying thanks to Digger. David Atkins has 534. David Piper saying hi to Vinny. Hastings BNSF N scale modeler, 798. Cool. And that's great, Roy. 1.2. 
Dwight Curley, 115. Dwayne Asternis, good night, everyone. Dave, BNSF and Scaler. Lint Roller is an idea. Yeah, I guess that might work. I'm hoping it's big enough. I'm just going to see it. So, and James Byers has 89 quadrillion and three. Very good, buddy. Awesome channel. SMT Mainline, I will probably be publishing a video later on on how to make model mountains super cheap. Cool. Cheap is always good. We all like cheap, as long as it looks good, too. And 2448 Toy Man has 1,842 subs. And let us know, Toy Man, if you're doing your live stream again on Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Because I'm pretty sure a few people tuned in last time and thought it was pretty cool. Really got to get a camera in that second room for you, though. And that's me, live stream clown. But at least I keep it family friendly. Yes, RJ, that's awesome of you, buddy. Hey, Dave, are you helping moderate on Sunday? I should be able to TSG. And TSG, are you in touch with your other moderators now, or am I doing that for you too? And Hot Rod Rodney, check your subscriptions. YouTube is unsubscribing people from mine. And Hot Rod Rodney, what happened with that? And a couple people might have noticed me subscribing to their channel again. And what I did is, I'm not sure what channel I was actually on, but you can go to their subscriber list, right? So I did that, and then I just scrolled all the way through their whole list. And anyone that it said I wasn't subscribed to, that I know I have been subscribed to, I just hit subscribe again. And I did that through his whole list. And, of course, you guys get the notification then that I've subscribed to you. I think I was always subscribed because I'm still getting the videos and notifications for most of those people that I did resubscribe to, but just, just to be on the safe side did that, so... Union Pacific Rail fan for life. I have been working on getting more videos uploaded to my channel. And Ken Patterson says you've got some signaling system on your layout that you're going to have there, Daniel, that you're going to have to show us all. So that's going to be cool. I also opened up a tortoise switch machine to see what's inside. Really? That would be a really cool thing because I haven't had the gut five needed to open one up. So but that would be pretty cool to do. If you do not visit the channel and watch a video and make a comment, uh, Toy Man, that's right away I'm going to tell you it's not true because I had to resubscribe to you and I was on your live stream. I've watched your videos. Um, one of the people, it was Creative Rails that sent me my first comment and I just got finished watching his video when I went to the next guy's video. So, they, it's... It depends on what button you're actually pushing on YouTube that if it's actually linked up that says you're subscribed or not. I can probably go right now on somebody else's channel and it'll say I'm not subscribed to somebody. And the next channel I go and check out their subscribers, I'm subscribed to that person on that one. I don't know. It's just all messed up. Like I said, I just started pushing the button just for why not, right? So, Alex Brockway, 121. I lost six. And TSG Multimedia saying it's 4 p.m. Pacific. Makes me wonder why Dave's not reading my comments. Let everyone know that have to watch, watch your channel and make a comment so you don't get to... I did read the last one and then I even made a comment on it. But anyway. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much it for me, guys. I got to get all this cleaned up. And then I got to get things set up again. And like I said, I'll be on... Who's Big Bill talking to? So I will show that channel once again. If you are not subscribed to this channel, head over there, watch a couple videos, subscribe to them. And then later on tonight, they'll be doing a live stream. And if all goes well, I should be on it. So, Jack Jack, how are you? I just gave up on all my YouTube nonsense. Yeah, I haven't gave up on it, but I don't, dread, I, I don't dwell on any of it. So... I know the channels that I'm, I'm subscribed to for a lot of them. I know the ones I like to watch. So, and Randy's in here. Good night, everyone. But that's it for me, guys. Like I said, check out this channel, More Railroading Live. Subscribe to them. They do have some good content. Pretty sure it's about three videos a week they put out. And there's always one of them that you're going to like. They're a little bit later. They're usually 9 or 10 o'clock at night. When they go live, so. <coughs> oh. 
But until later on tonight, guys, what I see is over there. Have a good one. And bye for now. Good night, guys.